Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 50 first round of 16 match between Johnny Gaijin and his Lizardmen and Mankiz and his Wood Elves. In the booth with me is Kalon and Purple Chest. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah. It should be fun. The Mankiz uh, Meath Rattler gets himself a perfect defense to start off the, the game. Yes, or P. Diddy as it's sometimes referred to. The no, perfect defense. That's right. Able to move his people around and uh, obviously decide which of them gets hit and from exactly where. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? There'll be lots of people who don't even know who P. Diddy is now <laughs> these days, <laughs> won't they? But there you go. Probably um, a good thing. Yep. Yeah, we should perhaps need to find a new name. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Yeah, and uh, it's a decent, it's a decent Wood Elf team, isn't it? Nothing too spectacular, I don't think. Like, obviously, he's got this movement up, spin your feet is really nice. Another movement up is 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 good yep. with sidestep and edge is good. A couple of guards is good, like it's well, three guards. It's, it's pretty decent, but it still doesn't like set the world on fire. I guess it's because the dancers are like nondescript, isn't it? I think if it's it's one good dancer away from being like, Whoa, yes, I think we used to hero thing. dancers a bit much. I think we've been kind um, of are, aren't we? Yeah, a bit spoiled with some of the dancers we've had over the last couple of seasons. Oh, mm. sorry, I've just had a Channing Tatum moment. <laughs> oh, <God>. Um, <laughs> it's those arms, Jim. It holds you. <laughs> um, it's. I mean, we are used to these hero dancers, strength four or agility five or something like that, and these are these are a bit ordinary. But mm. I mean, it can work. I mean, all elf teams, but particularly I think wood elf there. teams built wide, yeah, why not use, in there? rather than tall. If you if you know the nomenclature of sort of other forms of gaming, mm. um, it can be very effective. I mean, every elf is a hero waiting to happen, aren't they? They're all ag four. They're all incredibly fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Johnny. So Johnny Gaijin, he's down TV here. He has got mm. um, silly Billy. So he's yeah. only having to field three skinks, which is pretty Beautiful. nice. And he's got loads of block and guard and tackle and mighty blows. A really nice team. Obviously, the perfect it defense. Is. Managed to twat magnet a few Saurus, which sucks because they're yeah. arch one and can't get off. You'd, I would have thought, uh, I would have thought Silly Billy would have gone in there with this stand firm. Yeah, it was a weird, really weird, strange situation that he didn't go in one square higher. Yes. But I mean, he would have yeah, just absolutely. put into a system punched him on me, so I guess he just didn't want sure. to get punched. But uh, yeah, I, 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 I would have put him in there, and I'm surprised he didn't. And uh, he's got uh, an agile two, blood sure hand, yeah. which is nice, isn't it? And a movement yes. up oh, isn't yeah. great, but it's it's all right. Yeah. It, it does need an instant solve, doesn't it? Three sauruses on a tree. That's yeah. at least too too many. Yes. Uh, uh, but not enough to knock it over easily so the rest can run away. I mean, the, the perfect defence is obviously the problem there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he was hoping that it wouldn't stand up again, which would have yes. been very nice. Yes, they always do what you don't want them to, I find. Yeah. Um, I think... Silly Billy, I don't think he's going to be that key in this matchup in terms of his actual skills or strength or hitting. What he is is what you've already identified, isn't it? Is he keeps one more skink on the bench. Mm -hmm. um, and Wood Elves are terrible at getting hold of the skinks. The move seven is comes up more often than you'd think for a guy who has stand firm and guard. Um, I, he's just such an excellent star player. He's getting these but, three uh, daily tackle blitzes in, which is nice, yeah. isn't it? That's what you want to yeah, do. Yeah, the second one he's got off. It's a, like it's really nicely played so far, considering the situation he had overall. Great to see the cocks move there, so that he can work out whether he's able to go forward and make this cage or not. And uh, looks like he can really make like, a bit of progress here. Is he just going to want? I really like getting another assist in there and hope you seventy-five percent him so you can get the other two off. Well, he's putting yeah, in the skink. Good. The skink, yeah. The skink to do, yeah. Mm. It's, I mean, it's perfect turn ordering in terms of the crocs. You did have to do the blinks to find if you had the route to go where you wanted to go. Yeah. And then the crocs, of course, moves next. Oh, the top skull. Um, okay. Because if it doesn't move, you need to replan your turn. Yeah. And this is actually pretty nice, right? E either you want to blitz the oh. tree man and hope you power him, or putting yep. the skink is the next best option, because at least the king can dodge off next turn, can't he? So, yeah, yeah that's pretty exactly. nice. Pretty yeah, I nice. like this. And I really like the use of the move at seven on Sibley there to get him all the way across to fill that little gap. All oh, right, instantly lovely. made to look a fool. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Loving that. Uh, it won't. It won't be the last time. Just wait till he grabs uh, something. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the key move of the whole game. Of course, it's going to be. Oh, there's the Ooh, leap. Fills oh, this. Yeah, no, like this right? Straight in. Oh, oh. Oh, wow, just a stun. Let me. But, uh, yeah, nothing else moved. There's uh, quite a lot of hits being given away this turn. Tree still on the ground, so yeah. he gets to get both of those players back. Yeah, and that's the Trash Panda as well. That's the oh. uh, that's the skink he doesn't care about that can come yeah. in and actually do the foul. Do the foul, yeah. Yeah, he's only got... Oh, and it gives him reserve as well. He only had 11 men, so... Yes. Yeah, yeah I think men. I think with, with Slibby and uh, the... I mean, the better of the two dancers, it isn't, but it's the it's the better one for skink slaughtering. Mm-hmm. 
and ball taking with it right on the ground there in the middle of a cage that isn't moving very far. Yep. If it's not this turn, next turn, you kick it in the face, don't you? Oh, you have to. Uh, yeah. Don't have to, yeah. It's the law. Ooh. <laughs> yes, there are rules about these things. Well, well, that's a very, very, very feisty guys, ball so. position. It was a 2D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. I, th I think hit this okay. guy first, and if he he yeah. might he might size up next to the ball, and then you could have just spanked him on three D with tackle, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. I'd give him the chance to do that. Yeah, take the block because you don't want him moving anywhere. And then get this guy in as another assist, which also protects the ball somewhat. Uh, ooh, I don't like taking that two D so early as well when he still hasn't done the foul because the cross was absolutely fine and there was no real path in there. But here we go with the foul. Gets uh, only plus two on this. Yeah, I think moves out of which isn't. Yeah, yeah, I I don't love the shape at yeah. all. I didn't love the ball moving as early as it did before we dealt with that elf yeah. above or the elf behind. I mean, the position's fairly strong at the end of it all, and I'm not even sure we needed to foul this turn, particularly when we only had two assists. If that got called, for example. I mean, I, just, I would just for a, you know another stun or, or a non-break. Yeah, you've got Brush so blood to the head. much time. Yeah, but you've got so much time. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. Easy. You've got so much time that you just you nearly you stayed alive. You made an three, Jim. mega foul. Yeah. yeah, you make a mega foul yeah. next turn. That was that was a waste. Of, oh, yeah. Could have been so easy to be a waste of a skink. Yeah. I mean, I supported the, the dancer coming because whilst mm -hmm. uh, you know Johnny Gagin had stabilised it, it wasn't well stabilised. The cars weren't in the right spot yet. You know that that was a good shot to get in. Um, but the opposite's true. Now that it's there and you've got well ahead of the halfway line, you have now stabilised, you can build whatever shape you want. The shape I want is the one that's all around that dancer, so I can kill it. Mm, I think I would have 3D'd this uh, Strength 2 Garda here, but never mind. I also wouldn't yeah. have, I also wouldn't have uh, activated the Crocs, just to like, you know, just to make sure he stood there. And then mm -hmm. Obviously you want to put... Okay, he's, he's just really trying to fight a lot, isn't he, I guess? He really is pushing for this space. Yeah. Says the man that always pushes for space, but yeah. how is he going out for forward hard? I uh, I think it was a bit of a rush of blood to the head, is what I'm going to say. This happened uh, that he decided he wanted to um, get the foul in and didn't really know what happened, and all of a sudden was a turnover and was in a great position. So, hello, finally. Not cash is pretty nice. Yep. Yeah. I... Option of doing it again next turn. It's pretty cool. I I'm a little confused as to why Silly Billy's hanging out the back, but. Okay. Yes. It was an it was an assist, right? Yeah, but it it could have been swapped with this guy. That's the 100%. thing. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm yeah, exactly. See, he's moved seven though, lads. So he's able to. Catch <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just don't think he'll be doing as much primary hitting as he would have against, say, orcs or something. Yeah, for sure. But he keeps his kink off the field and is strong. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Strong. The stand firm's pretty good against the elves as well. It is. Right? It he is. Can, yeah. He can jam into places. Well, I'm really important for the one turning and things. It gives good options as well, doesn't it? Have another stand firm on the roster. Mm. Yes. And he got the one, but he does have sidesteppers. Mm -hmm. But how often do you want to put your sidesteppers up there to be slaughtered? This is it. Never. Never, Jim, against elves. Facing never. A one I mean, you talk to me. Stand firms and a, a sidestep. <laughs> you talk to me, so never, definitely. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> But it, we'll see what he does. Does he put the crocs between the two stand firms and say, yeah. go on then, one turn through that? I mean, you never want to, right? But sometimes you have to, is, is the yeah. thing. Or do you put the worst of your two good skinks and say, well, at least you can't one turn easily. Is there a natty? There isn't a natty on Mankis, is there? No, he's got it. He's got a, it's so a nearly. It's a near natty, isn't it? Move nine sprint, near, side step. Move nine sprint, side step. So he needs one step. Yeah. Well, it's got to be the side step then, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Another stun. Well, he's not been wow. caught. Iron, and, uh, iron wood either. Mm. I appreciate it, Bezel. See, Bezel gets it. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Bezel. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. I outrun the cage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was a literal argument used uh, used for Mister Thraw. Believe it or not. Oh my God! Really? Mm. People are funny, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, yep. They just shit at football. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I mean, and obviously they're very welcome and their opinions are always welcome. But there's someone who's been a regular on my channel and has noticed that I'm running uh, four bobs, four blitzers, two linemen, two goblins, and three rerolls as my start. Yep. So I start with 12 pieces. Um, yep. 
and I don't have the handicap of Mr. Throw, and he just can't deal with it at all. <laughs> it's just it's just blown his mind. He's like, but you haven't got a Mr. Throw. Goblins are terrible. They're, they're just so easy to casualty. Yes, I've got two. Yeah. But, but what if we get kill one killed? Then I use the other yeah, one. Use the other one. one. It's, yeah. it's grand. <laughs> Why would you like, why would be, how are you picking up the ball with the blitzer, who's, you know, On, faster against and some stronger, races and with and, the goblin you know, against others, depending exactly. where I think the threat is. I've got exactly. options. Yeah. He's being rowdy with his crocs, isn't he? He's not, yeah. he's not, yeah. he's not afraid of so. his crocs. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I, what I will counter that with, Jim, is that he's usually done so when the ball has been pretty safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, oh, there's still fails. And he's possible. finally failed the, uh, he's yeah. finally failed the armor boy. Wow. Will he be coming for his balls? Or would he just be running away? I mean, it hasn't been the armor break, has it? He could easily have put more assists in, and until this Ooh. time, he has broken armor. It's just this this is the one that hasn't. Yes, yeah. the dodge of tackle. Because I think I'd have been assisting with sort of six to seven assists. So yes. I definitely was through the armor. <laughs> yes, I'd have been putting the whole team for a couple of times. He, he swapped that for look how advanced he is. Look how close to the touchdown he is already. Yep. Mm hmm. Um, and of course, actually, only two more turns, so he does need to make perhaps a tiny bit more progress after this. Yeah, just a couple of turns, but he's given it to him, hasn't he? Uh, with the uh, yeah. with the screen, you can. Oh wow! So now you wow. don't foul him. Now you just need to go. Uh, yeah. Oh no, you can. Yeah, because he's stunned anyway. So he's stunned anyway. So you just got to go two squares forward, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Can he hit something? Well, I mean, you, you can definitely pile into that. Uh, those elves, the ones straight ahead of the crocs. Yeah, with the crocs. No crocs is assisting for once. Oh, not three dicing. Oh. Oh. We're going every oh, which way at once. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was like the strength too, isn't it? No. They should be an orangutan in this story. We're going every which way but loose. <laughs> one of the guards is, is strength too. This one, I thought it was yeah, this guard, but it's the Croxes with guard, and it was this was skillless guy based. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't three dice. Because he's going to foul that guy. He's going to foul it again, isn't he? Yeah. He's no, going to he foul the, the strength two instead. Yeah. No, this niggle guy. Oh god, yeah, the strength too. Yeah. Oh, you know, well, that's that's not right. It's not ideal. Nope. Good God Almighty, that's not right. <laughs> if he fills in too many slots, he might be able to get the ball chain. Oh he, no, he's got sides. Yeah, I was gonna say he can't get to the foul if he stays. Yeah, so he's fouling this niggle guy yeah. instead. Which is a better foul, I think, than a strength three. Yeah. A strength two. Yeah. And it's a much better injury to foul, isn't it? But I still wouldn't have done when there was still dancers to foul, but I guess it's fair enough. Ooh. Uphill. Just takes the block. I wonder what he was trying for. If you're trying an uphill, uh, why are you gonna doing uphill it? Uphill oh, well. him and then he was gonna chain out the it, ball to here. It's a blodge step ball, yeah. it's it's yeah. But, that's but what if he, he filled doing, the squares, because right? the, the squares are all filled, so he could have shoved yeah. it all the way back in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's pushed, he's pushed that back as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, but now, I mean, he can get it moved, but I suppose that is... But you could have blitzed it if you got a push hard, on the first yeah, hit, yeah. right? That's why I did the first hit. The second yes. hit doesn't seem really worth it, because it's just mm -hmm. made it, made him GFI. <laughs> and he can still just dodge through everything on twos, can't he? So. Yes, he can. Yes. Grab, he's oh, used grab, grab, grab to not do anything exciting. Do anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> now, wouldn't it have been better if he actually had grabbed him and pulled him around the corner? Yes. Yes, to that square there, Jim, bottom yes, left of where he stood. Yeah, maybe. Ooh, and I don't like that square either because he's. So I think that was a failure to use grab. Yeah, he could have gone there to guarantee pushing him off. Yeah, well, why? Sure that that offers oh, nothing something. good. Oh, no, he's Where's going out diagonally. So he's already got his, uh, yeah, his path, right? Uh, no, no, go, no. He can this go through the is, left. No, no, this is better. It's better going right. Oh, what he's misclicked. Hell? He's misclicked. What is oh, it? Oh my uh, god, that's that's very bad. Oh, oh my god. No. Oh yeah. no. Oh no. Oh, chalice nerves strike deep into the heart of this game, Jim. Oh Yikes. no. I mean that that was right because he, he couldn't go left, right? He couldn't go left. The this this guy I mean, sidestep oh, there, that so guy's there yeah. it would have been like a lateral move, so an extra GFI. Yeah. So this was the this was the correct way to go, and he could have just moved this guy out of the way for that hit, yeah. and then he would have yeah. been through. So he, he did everything right except misclick Ooh. dodge. Yep. Oh, no. Which uh, is not what you want to do <laughs> against against what else? <laughs> Luckily, he did it on turn eight, where it wasn't a it wasn't a counter score on. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no score available, and you got the catch. But yeah, obviously, you should have been one nil. It's a bit tragic, isn't it? That is actually tragic. Getting a successful offense against Woody's is uh, is yeah, that's 
That's brutal. That is such a harsh misclick. After all of the stuff that he'd done earlier yeah. as well, of not getting oh. the the dancer by not really committing enough lads to the foul, and I mean he kept breaking AV. Like I, I, yeah. I don't think he committed enough lads, but he still kept getting the AV breaks, didn't he? Just not the injuries. But I mean, I personally would have committed more for the first two turns of fouling him. But uh, yeah. he, he still broke AV. He just didn't get it in the did he? And then he, he did well to like yeah. you know he, he did well to get the score, and then he just. Just yeah, same there. Jim. I would have committed more to the foul. It might have meant we weren't as far forward as him. Didn't have the easy stall, the easy score. But um, yeah, he had it right there in the palm of his hand, mm -hmm. but misclicked. Pretty rough. Poor old Johnny Gaijin. Yeah, it could nice. be anything. It could, it could be genuinely a case of you know chalice nerves and that mm -hmm. that jumpy feeling where suddenly you might be about to score against the Wood Elves and it just goes wrong. Maybe he just didn't see it. You know, the client can obscure things if you're at an odd angle. Or, Oh. Absolute tragedy. Got lead followed. It, it is. is. I think they probably stick with you longer than you know times you've been out coached or even out un unlucky. It's it. You know he was doing. It. He was there. It was all in his hand. Oh, just a poor fellow. Stupid uh, My user poor interface plus. issue. Yeah. Yep, a Blood Bowl 2. I mean, it's a Blood Bowl 2 mistake at the end of the day. I mean, I've made plenty of Blood Bowl 2 mistakes. No, but it's, it's annoying. It's annoying when it's not a Blood Bowl mistake, isn't it? That's the thing. Yes. Yeah. Like poor old Kefo in the GG Tour, mm. hitting, yeah. hitting enter when uh, he meant to talk to chat instead of um, doing the other round. Yeah. Well, I mean, that but was his fault for being such a show-off, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Busy trying to explain to his opponent how leap works, I think. <laughs> how sure hands works, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, for, in case I should point out, uh, I am joking. He's a good friend of mine. Mm. Uh, and he deserves everything bad that happens to him. Because <laughs> he's brilliant at Blood Bowl and wins yeah. too much. It's yeah. boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's also a lot smarter than me. Jeez, mm. so that's good at Blood Bowl, all right. And what a lovely fella. He is, he as is, well. Yeah, Just so nice. Lovely. Yeah, he is. Really, really nice. Lad. Thank you, M. Savage, yes. <laughs> Exactly. We're going to see a DACA. Mm, potentially. Well, I mean, it is a situation where tactically I think it's very valid. You only need the one. I would definitely DACA just because uh, he hasn't so got Juggernaut. Does he think he's because got Because there's a Y in the day. Um, um, no, but just just because uh, just because of misclick, right? The misclick makes yeah. it even more likely that that he'll misclick again, and if he does, he's <laughs> straight through. Um, I mean, I'd counter with, yes, the DACA here is quite strong because of the fact that you, you know, score and win. Um, so you can really put everything into that time you line break. But exactly the same is true. You know, you can really put everything into outmaneuvering them and getting it done more securely. The problem with the DACA is that at nil-nil, if they do turn you over, if it fails really near your line, they pop it in and have won. So if it fails up at their end, they've still got to make it all the way down the field and elves can always get in front of that and stop it. Mm-hmm. So it's still a choice, but yes, I do agree. It's it's tactically more pointed to by the scoreline right now. Hello, fine here. Um, don't think you missed anything. Hello, Saturday. I had a little look at the DACA during GG Tour. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I, was... um, I just didn't feel it was quite going to work. So mm -hmm. I thought I'd, uh, I'd try and rummage my way through instead. I was briefly it's, excited. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tricky against uh, the fast routines as well, right? Well, I forget. So, there was a kickoff event, wasn't there, that meant really I had nothing, no option except to pull back and, and have mm -hmm. a look at things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I was still excited. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> PC's going to dack it. This is going to be amazing. I've never said it's not a valid tactic on occasions. I've never seen you do it, though, because you're always playing those movement four agility two elves, you know? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was great. Well, I mean, I haven't, I haven't played a lot of elves on BB2. I do do it, but not a lot. <laughs> but, you know, at the time I came over here to play some dwarves and things and explore this world, uh, I was playing a lot of elves on fun because, of course, I was playing high elves in the White Elf League. Um, yep. And various black box trophy runs where it was often point efficient to take elf builds. I mean, you do tend to play elves in any uh, type of competition as well, right? Uh, not always, but there's certainly it's something I always look at, yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, they're good at winning, aren't they? And PC likes they're winning. Great at winning. <laughs> if if yes, you haven't noticed. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's, I, I can't deny that. I, I mean, I think I'm good at losing. I, I think I'm a good sport when I lose, but I mm. do like to win. I try very hard to. Except if your opponent gets all the dice. 
if, if they do, they do. <laughs> I just notice it. Okay. <laughs> There's quite a lot of dice, and they get all of them. That that sticks with me. Yeah, I hate this, by the way. Yeah, he's just realised that this wasn't a screen yeah, before. Yeah, it's when nowhere near as safe as he thought it was. Oh, hang on, mm. that's not a safe shape. I mean, if the tree went down particularly, it would be ruinous. But now he's double secured it. Yeah. I wouldn't have hated a, a 5 plus. 5 plus, three, yeah, I was just thinking that as well. Like, I mean, I wouldn't have done it, but I wouldn't have hated it. No. <laughs> And this is, to me, this is a classic option if you're not doing the withdrawn offence, and sometimes I feel we need to explain there are other tactical options. Yeah. Um, this is, I mean, you're trying to just lengthen the field here. Ideally, next thing you do is you widen the field as well. Yeah. If you can get the, the lizard men in sort of a pocket, eight different pockets all around the field dealing with one or two elves each, then they're in disarray. Disarray or that array. Hey! Hey! If they can keep you all squirreled up in a nice little pocket that you can't get out of, and you can't really do that to wood elves. Mm -hmm. um, but if they can just put you in a box and start hitting you down, that's when it can get big. So straight away we see the wood elves doing exactly that, trying to move across yep. the other this side of the field. exposed. He might be getting slapped. Mm-hmm. It's a GFI to hit him. Will he go for it? And also, he'd expose himself to the tackle. So, maybe not. Mm. I don't see what else he's doing. Just blitz this. Uh, well, he's already moved that dancer. I mean, that dancer blitzing this guy would be the yeah, obvious. That would yeah, the it would. Obvious, yeah. So maybe he's going to GFI hit the skin. Considering he was the he's red reddit. Bad. He's red reddit. <laughs> and reddit <laughs> says, <laughs> blitz the skinks. It's a pretty nice skink to get rid of as well because it is his number one. Uh, um, one turn option. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't, just, get him. St d d doesn't, d stay, doesn't stay in contact. Stay mm. in contact, make it harder for him yeah. to get away from your your uh, tackler. Yeah. It's got diving tackle like that. That would have you know yeah. you'd have probably had to stay there and then stop him having to do this GFI to hit him because boy howdy do you want to spank him? I do think that was a, a missed opportunity. Yep. But he has put himself one GFI away from this tackle Saurus. Oh. who is hence going for the ball area instead. Oh. Um, I think it might have just been dancer preservation, Jim, leaving him in there, said, you know, hit me over and foul me again. So that might be an impact of the fouling. Hmm. Yeah, but I mean, but I mean, no, I mean, it was it was the skink that could have sized up there, right? That was the thing, the skink yes. could have kept him... Yes, could have stayed on it and with a yeah. diving tackle. Yes, no, I would have done that, you're right, yeah. yeah. And then I would have hit it down and found it out. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I would have hit it down and then got sent off, but, I, I, you know, yes. I You'd see have tried and failed. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. What would be your strategy here, Jim? Um, I mean, I confess of the four elves, Woody's the one I played the least, usually. Is this try and score, stall out and, and score turn 16? Oh, Is yeah, it? for sure, for sure. Do you hate having to bang it in early and stop the, the lizards? Mm. Yes, because you can't stop them. I mean, well, you can if you if you cage dive, right? You can cage dive and get them, but you can't stop them if you don't cage dive. And cage diving is a bit shit. So okay. I would definitely that, uh, that extra dodge with the skink actually just kind of exposed him, right? I don't. I'm not sure I understand why he went that way. Well, because he's got diamond tackle and he's got tackle on the other one. So yeah, yeah but he could have been in the ins. Oh, because he would have been able to get no, because he's between two guards, so he would have had to bring up assist to get enough. Put him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and okay. he did the three plus through instead. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, no, you didn't really need that. You're correct. No. Correct. I get no chain, maybe chain. Maybe mm. he's thinking chain the, uh, mm -hmm. could have chained him off with the, uh, Saurus. Yeah. Because maybe what he was thinking. Or maybe he was just wrong. <laughs> but that, that could be an answer. It, it could have been chains. Could have been possible. Okay. Yeah, fair play. Another lovely feature here that we're seeing a lot of is uh, swinging around the tree. Even a rooted tree can uh, cut a field in half. If you keep moving around opposite sides of it and leaving, you know, things like lizards stuck on the wrong side of it, suddenly their pathing is difficult, it costs them spaces of movement. Uh, and it prevents them attacking on certain fronts. It keeps the flank of this uh, move of the cage to the left, as we're watching, slightly safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just chops aren't very good. Go from Ajax at that TV. And uh, they didn't... They didn't get anything to help them. <laughs> um, they're... Chorf need to be need quite a few skills for them to be able to compete with the other teams, and uh, the skill pack available to them uh, didn't provide them such. Yes, I mean I faced Walid, who's a very good coach, um, new on the Twitch scene, but clearly not new to Blood Bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, and his chores were doing very well. I liked his build, but yeah, 
he still only had a sure hands hobgoblin um, four guards and a block bull and yep. it just you know, the bulls were really easy to tie down yeah um, yeah, stacking so, so all the bulls means even if you put break tackle on them, then you know, great, they can get anywhere and then do nothing when they get there. Yeah. Oh, so he's got the di he had the diamond tackle on the ball again, and with a backed up with a guard, he went for the frenzy, which would have been a two into a one, but um, mm. gets away with it. And I mean, he's on match five, so he barely cares yeah, about the diamond tackle it's, anyway, does he? It's a, it's a one in nine to get off. I mean, I did put in my feedback, Jim. I don't know about you, that um, clearly dwarves need more in GG Tour, as we hardly saw any <laughs> dwarf builds. Um, obviously, they need more skills or you know access to better doubles or something because just no one took. <laughs> Dwarves with fifty percent, which is perfect, isn't it? Yes, Norse, the both games they played. Norse um, needed uh, nerfing. Norse were the, were the most overpowered by win rate. <laughs> yep. I think another factor that limited both Chorf and Dwarf taking was people expecting lots of necromantic, which are good counters to both. Yeah. Particularly as they could have claw mighty blow. Um, but the flesh golems hold up the, enough dwarfs, the wolves take out enough dwarfs, and then both of those teams struggle if they lose even one or two, which Necromantic are very likely to be able to chip. Mm. Uh, Necromantic also being the reason for there not being as many Skaven as one might otherwise have expected. I think Skaven are just a bit shit. <laughs> I've said that yes, before. I, I do agree with you there, Jim. They are a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there are, I mean, the people like, I think, of the lovely Sol in Florida, there are some, and of course, Crystal. Some absolute Skaven aficionados, true rat mains in the way that you really get with other races. Mm -hmm. um, and it, yeah, I did find it surprising that we didn't see a few more of those and those aggressive rat builds, which are always possible in every rule set. But I think Chunter even, he, like, Chunter works on weekends, right? So he doesn't normally go mm, for yeah. these things. But even he, like, didn't use Skaven, did he last time? I think he used humans or something. He did go for humans, but that was in the previous rules pack as well. Yeah. Skaven were slightly, slightly buffed in this, if anything, because. Yeah. They were one of the few teams that was able to take the Mighty Blow Tackle on the Storm Vermin because they did get the, the stack option. Yeah. Um, so I thought they were quite good. Uh, the, the reason I wasn't uh, expecting them to be well taken was because, as I said, I think a Necromantic is such a hard counter for them. And I just think they're yeah. still a bit shit, even if they had got a little bit more, you know? For sure. I'm sure we'd all agree that Chorfs really don't deserve this much of our attention, the horrific, nasty little hurt derbies that they are these days. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, yeah, anyway, and this yeah, game is coming to its yeah. business end now. Now, yeah. the Lizards have done a really good job of getting a nice centralised flat defence back in front of this uh, Wood Elf team. The mm. Wood Elf have broken a dancer through up on the far left as we're looking, but yeah. that's pretty much all they've got free into the backfield, into the dangerous areas, Jim, particularly with that dodge through fail. Yeah, they can uh, they can three D um, this and three D them again, can't they? So they, they yeah. might get this catch in three D them again, so they can maybe get this mm, catcher down. Yeah, at least I'm also looking at those lovely centralized skinks, both of which have uh, diving tackle, don't they? Or, uh, just the one. One of them, just one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that, there are, and there we are, seeing him taking some moves to try and deal with the dancer. This is, it's a good job from the Lizzies. You still feel it's probably doomed because elves, but yes, and he's they've not done one a really lot, nice job. No, and the yeah, fact that it's not one the main problem, yeah. Those are the two big problems he faces. Mm -hmm. uh, but both of his good skinks have got diamond tackle, by the way, like these two in the middle. Ah, yes, but, uh, the other one is over there, I see. Yeah, yeah, I both missed both a good one, skinks, which was where. So if he doesn't bang this uh, out, yeah, he's going to have to put a skink on it, isn't he? Mm. That's what I hear. If you, if you like it, you should have put a skink on it. <laughs> I mean, he could. I don't think he has to, right? Because again, if, if Manka scores this turn, he's got a two turn to score himself. And true, and you know, two turns are pretty easy when you've got an edge four skink. Well, it turns out that Jim's right again with his prophecies there, uh, mm -hmm. keeping his diving tackle skink mm -hmm. centralised for next turn, putting only the trash skink in front of the uh, dancer and saying, "Yeah, you want to score this turn? Fine, we'll be one one." Goes for the. Yeah, I suppose he had a friend that he had a, he'd wrestle on him as well, so it was likely to get him down, but a bit tricky to decide to go and hit the um, stand firm. It was firm, so definitely the best route through, yeah, but you never want to be hitting a stand firm, do you? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. I suppose with the, the, the wrestle made it slightly better. Slightly. I mean, he's here is dodge. Oh, oh that, I mean, that's a nice yeah, tag of the cross from behind. You've still got to get off it, and... Wow. Huge. Mm. And he manages it. Could be a game winning dodge there. Indeed. Yeah, it tags the tackler. Yeah, lovely. And gets him off the backside. Yeah. Way. Mm. 
That's why I, I love one. diving tackle, Jim. Sure? I mean, a prehensile tail, yes, it makes dodges slightly harder. But a diving tackle, I mean, a blodge elf only gets away from it three out of four times, Jim. Now, that's priceless. Mm -hmm. It's all right, isn't half. it? The, the good thing about the tail is they stack, right? The good thing yeah. is they stack. So if you had, like, uh, there was a secret league team on Fumble that had everyone had prehensile tail, and, yeah. like, stacking loads of them be, suddenly becomes, like, can almost counter elves a tiny amount. <laughs> I mean, if you stack prehensile tail, diving tackle, and tackle onto a piece, I mean, that, wow. that elf would then only get away 55% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, if it was prepared to put a re-roll in, I mean yep. that's that's just awful for an elf to have to think about. <laughs> um, I I think what he's doing here is he's going to punch this dancer instead of putting two diamond tackles on him, so that yeah. he couldn't deal with both. But um, the problem is, even if he doesn't deal with, okay, he is putting it's both. It's thirty percent to get the dancer down, but yes, he is putting them both in. Okay. But the the worst thing is that even if he, even if like you do get in the way of diamond tackle, he still just dodges away on a three plus anyway, doesn't he? So it's like yeah. It's it's Although terrible. it's a complex route, and I mean, only half the time are you left on your ass on the ground with less movement. Diving tackle is such a good bargain. Massive. I mean, now it has to follow. Is it, it is a dodge okay. through though. Yeah. Oh, I need... Well, Ooh. I mean that was a wrestle piece, but it's uh, yeah that that pal there is. Um, Here we go. I'm, su I'm surprised he rerolled that. Probably what he needed to, to I'm get. I'm really game surprised one. he rerolled that hit because he he still had like. He still could have just yeah. like, dodged and, and scored, right? Like it's, it's a one sure. in nine dodge. It's a one in nine, yeah. and it's nil yeah. nil. I'm surprised he rerolled. But I mean, that. this is uh, it, it. left him that two die with wrestle. But if that had mm -hmm. got taken to ground, there was no route, was there? He was blocking his own path. Yeah, yeah. If that one in nine, he went down. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was weird. So a little bit rowdy, but uh, gets it done. Yeah, that was worse than just dodging, wasn't it? I, I think so, uh, but okay. It, it was definitely yeah, because it was a one in nine to put himself on the ground and block the route, whereas he could have just could just dodged on a two plus with a reroll. Of okay. course, on a one in thirty-six, it's you know, it, because he'd used the reroll, that would be the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, it was just literally just worse. Strictly worse. Very, very rare that that happens in Blood Bowl, isn't it? <laughs> like, However, it, it, I mean, it's it really it's, rare. It's one of those ones, yes, and only in situations like that where there's only sort of three or four factors, and this is how you get there. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we were discussing the um, Elliot's wonderful round the outside. Um, one turn touchdown in the final of the GG Tour. Yes. Um, the one that Crystal Hunter you know, had worked through. Uh, That's right. Which even Coor admits he'd sort of dismissed until Crystal showed him the maths that he'd done on it and it yes. suddenly started to look really sexy. Um, it may even be ending up called the Crystal Hunter one turn. I, I do Let's, hope so. I think Let's not go that far. Normal. It was just no, it was, it was, <laughs> it was just a normal frenzy hit thing. I, I have no, said it, it, it has it been done before, but the way he goes yeah. around the outside is, yeah. is good, Jim. Um, and it's it's, it's not something I've seen widely done. So, yeah. well, mm. I don't think it's the first time it's ever been done. It may well be popularised because Core has seen it from Crystal, and then makes a big YouTube about it and tells all his one tournaments about it. I'd actually tried it in a because um, I was playing humans in a match last week, and I made a complete balls of it. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I was talking to him again about it during the week, and then uh, we had a lovely chat about it last night. I think it's uh, I think it's great because. Yeah, he'd shared it with us after his month off. He'd uh, gone on a little mm. break. I mean, he shared it with you two as well, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was lovely to see it in action. Now, him and Elliot have been talking about the stats of that versus various other um, one turns. And even in something as simple as that, where the opposite opponent is having no impact, it's just you, there are factors that the minute Elliot talks about it show how complex it is. Mm. Because in choosing to do that, one of his reasons was the first two hits, if they were powers that he couldn't solve, were hits with claw which would get yeah. him damage. So how do you factor that in? You know, and say, well, this one is yeah. at 18.2 and this one's 18.3, but the 18.2 gives you a possible claw hit if it fails. Mm. Do you see what I mean? Instantly you're into something too complex for just maths to solve it, mm. where it's already always going to end up interpretive of a decision. Uh, so, sorry, uh, well, we yes, just, some things are just yeah. wrong. <laughs> the, the, there, was yes. a, uh, there was a P. Diddy, and unfortunately that puts paid to the rest of the game, so he's going to go for the yeah. Saurus pick up and throw. It's funny, actually, regarding that one turn. I, I remember I remember Elliot and Chunter talking about it, actually, and, and they were talking about like the thing, and then I, I was I was arguing against it until I realised it was like an Ads 3 plan, and they're like, oh, yeah, well, then obviously yes. that way. <laughs> I was like, well, why are you even talking about this? <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> I, I of course it was the get right get thing, and I just... I was from Crystal today. 
saying that you calling that one turn fantastic when Elliot did it has been the highlight of his month. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty, pretty many players. Oh, I just don't know if he told you that, but I feel you deserved. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's lovely. I'm really chuffed for him. Yeah, yeah I literally, I, honestly, I literally, I literally, I literally was arguing against it until until they revealed it. Oh, it's was for a, Agility Three. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, no, that's well, brilliant. Obviously, that's no, brilliant. no, it's just oh, obviously yeah. it was. They, they were talking about whether it was correct or not, and I was like, no, it's not correct. And then like they, and then they literally they were just they'd been discussing for like ten minutes or something, and then I'm yeah. like. Well, why are you a cop? Why are you even discussing it if it's Edge 3? Of course, that's the thing. Like, how does this d deserve a discussion? Anyway, um, you well, commiserate me and I didn't know if you heard. Exactly. Myself and Kaylord are very bullish that it should be called the Crystal. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the Crystal, the crystal, crystal one turn. I'm yeah. sure other people have done it before him, but the fact that he has persuaded Eliod that that persuaded you, I think, earns his name upon it, as right. far as I'm concerned. Well, I concur. Okay, what I a, concur that we should talk about this football. fucking game, uh, all right? Uh, Commiserations, Johnny Gaijin, who, uh, you know, did that horrible, horrible misclick that cost him the yeah. match. And uh, congratulations to Mankiz, who gets through with one if he breaks pretty fully. But yeah, you know, he did a, he did a good offense, didn't he? He did yeah. everything right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just a real shame for Johnny Gaijin that they didn't get the uh, the overtime. Or like, you know, maybe if uh, the dancer had scored early, you know, like it'd be, uh, mm. it'd be interesting if... Uh, it been interesting, like you know, had had it been had it been one nil down, if he would have tried to you know get the turnover, because I think it's very fucking dangerous against yeah. lizards, you know, like lizards are so easy to score, and like if if you come for the ball and fail, like he did in the first half, you're out the drive yep. basically, which is exactly what happened. Yep. So there you go. This is it. it yeah. Is. Right. Um, well, thank you. There, trying, getting credit for the one turn. It was oh my you. God! Oh, shut up, up. PC. I'm just going to mute you if you're going to keep going on. All right. <laughs> this is. Let's try and get this video done. Thanks, well, Kalon and PC. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.